It's been a busy start to the year for the Duchess of Cambridge, who was recently officially appointed by the Queen to the patronage roles of the Rugby Football League and Rugby Football Union. And her diary seems to be filling up rather fast, as the Palace has just announced the Duchess will mark an important royal first when she undertakes a solo overseas trip later this month. She will visit Denmark on a working trip with the Royal Foundation Centre for Elderly Child Care. The Duchess will undertake a two-day solo visit to Copenhagen between the 22nd and the 23rd. This working visit will mark the first time the Royal brings the work of the Royal Foundation Centre for Elderly Childhood to the international stage. She first launched the centre back in June 2021 through the Royal Foundation with the intention to aid research, campaign and collaborate to drive awareness and action to the early years, the first year of a child's life from conception through to age five. The centre aims to drive awareness of and action on the extraordinary impact of the early years for children. And it is the royal family's hope that the trip will serve as an in-depth education into how Denmark's world-leading approach to this stage of development is seen. Denmark is a beacon of best practice with its approach to early childhood, as well as consistently ranking near the top of countries with the happiest people in the world. During the visit, Her Royal Highness will spend time learning about how Denmark has created an enabling culture for early childhood development and how it harnesses the power of nature, relationships and playful learning in the first five years of life, as well as meeting with children, families, leading researchers and others working in the early education sector. For the visit, on behalf of her grandmother-in-law, Queen Elizabeth II, 95, the Duchess will be received by Queen Margaret II, 81, who is celebrating her Golden Jubilee this year and will carry out an engagement with Australian-born Crown Princess Mary, 49. Announcing the news on Twitter, Kensington Palace shared a clip showing Catherine building with Lego bricks the Danish flag and the word Denmark. The video was accompanied by a personal message Catherine signed off with her initial C. It read, Looking forward to learning from experts, parents and practitioners about Denmark's approach to early childhood later this month. Denmark is a beacon of best practice in its approach to the early years with a culture which prioritises the best start in life. The Duchess added, Pa snarligt gensin, which means see you soon in Danish. The trip will also pay tribute to the historic ties between Britain and Denmark and will celebrate the joint jubilees taking place in each country this year. The Platinum Jubilee for Queen Elizabeth II, marking 70 years on the British throne and the Golden Jubilee of Margaret II, marking 50 years on the Danish throne. The Duchess of Cambridge will receive an official welcome to Denmark from Queen Margaret II on the second day of her trip. She will also join Crown Princess Mary of Denmark and visit a project supported by the pay Page 2 of 2 Mary Foundation, founded in 2007 by the Crown Princess to protect vulnerable women and children from domestic violence. Catherine's only official visit to Denmark took place in 2011 when she toured the UNICEF Supply Hub in Copenhagen with Prince William. On that occasion, they were accompanied by future King, Crown Prince Frederick and Crown Princess Mary. But the Duchess has met the Danish royals on other public and private occasions. In 2016, Frederick and his wife Mary joined British royals at Royal Ascot. Two years later, the royal couple travelled back to the UK to mark the 70th birthday of Prince Charles. The trip will come weeks after Prince William embarks on a solo trip as he is travelling to Dubai on Thursday for an overseas visit. Meanwhile, the past two days have been busy for Catherine with two royal engagements and the announcement she is taking on a new job. On Wednesday, it was revealed she is now the patron of the English Rugby Football League and Rugby Football Union, two roles previously held by Prince Harry. To mark her new jobs, she paid a visit to Twickenham yesterday, where she tackled a rugby training session. Meanwhile yesterday, she headed out and about with Prince Charles and Camilla for a rare day out. They visited Trinity Boy Wharf, a centre in East London run by the Prince's Foundation, where traditional textile skills are taught.